baby, ooh, baby, baby, ooh, 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 baby, ooh, 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 baby, ooh, baby, baby, ooh, 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 baby, ooh, 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 ooh. Anyways, what's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your truth, of course, Machiavelli. And today we are back with another, what, no, favorite, well, I guess it's an episode of The Sims 4 Quarantine, but another episode of The Sims, well, another Speed Bowl. The Sims people, we are going to make a studio apartment, another one. I think this is another Brazilian one. Well, I have no clue who's in Brazil or not. The person, like, I found this on an article on Pinterest, and the person who made the article was from Brazil. So I have no clue if it's from Brazil or not, but it's from, I don't know, cool, I'll, I'll name it. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do some background research, search the interwebs, search the Googles, and find out the location of this place, because I think it looks really nice. Um, of course, it has all, most of my favorite colors. I say most because I think yellow's becoming, soon becoming my favorite color. Sorry, I'm, I, I am doing so bad. You see, when I multitask, it doesn't work out well. Sorry, I'm, I'm building while I'm talking just because, I don't know, I thought I'd go ahead and do some talking while I'm doing building. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I thought I'd go ahead and do it. But anyways, bad idea. Moving on, like I said, what was I talking about again? I don't know what I was talking about. Something about locations, Brazil, um... Um, I, I don't remember what I see. This is what happens. I lose focus for like one second and boof, I'm, I'm in gone town. But, um, anyways, today we are making a studio apartment. I really like this part. Oh yeah. Talking about, I uh, talking about, yeah. Cause my favorite yellow suits me my favorite color. Um, I don't know. I've just, I, I've just been loving lo yellow for the last like few months now. I've been loving it. I've been putting out my accent tones in a bunch of my houses and in my, um, my current household. So yeah, yellow is slowly becoming my favorite color, which is weird because I always ha thought of yellow. Whenever I thought of yellow, I thought of like pee. So <laughs> um, I'm glad that's changing. But anyways, um, how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing great. Hope y'all all hope you all are safe. Hope y'all all are doing great. Hope y'all having. Uh, hope y'all are socially distancing yourself. I hope y'all are being smart. Um, if y'all are one of those people protesting, like, bro, I get it. Boredom's hitting you, but come on now fix yourself anyways but yeah truly though um hope y'all are doing good um anyway so yeah so with this build i'm gonna talk about this build for about five minutes and then we're gonna talk about the topic for the day um the topic's about a tv show and again um spoiler alerts going to happen if you haven't watched the tv show already or not um i'll let you guys know spoilers when we get there but um yeah, so this build is a studio apartment. It's really nice. It's actually very quaint, very small, but I find it very spacious too. When I was building this, well, actually I'm building it right now as we speak, but when I was building like the get-go, I I don't know, I, I found it just, I don't know, how do I, I don't know how to describe it, but it was just, it was just, I'm saying refreshing, but maybe because I'm just so used to making a bunch of these big houses, it was just so nice to work on such a compact, like, dense space. It was, it was a nice change for a little bit, but yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy it, because I really do love this, and I guess what, guys, right now, as we speak, I'm making a closet, yep, a closet, I haven't made a closet in a long time, and guess what the closet is? It's in the bathroom, um, so yeah, you're getting a bathroom plus a closet in this video, I know what what crazy i had i found i had, I had some time right now all, all, all things left to do in this house is just clutter it and so i was like you know what? i want to clutter right now clutter it off screen so i'll go ahead and make a little like closet slash bathroom because the space like the closet's in the bathroom so what i was gonna do I, what i was going to do was i was gonna have to be like you walk into the the closet no you walk into the closet no you walk into the oh my god what was i gonna say again you walk into the closet and then you go into the bathroom but like wait if you have guests i don't think you'd want you personally want your guests to walk through your whole business of your house so i was like nah we're gonna scrap that idea so i went ahead and i changed it and so now you have to walk into the bathroom and then once you get to the bathroom you get into the once you once you leave the bathroom you get into the closet um but the closets are kind of like open because they're like glass but it doesn't matter you know it, it all that matters is that there's a closet you know kudos for me um will there be hanging clothes depends on how lazy i am if i'm too lazy i won't add in no clutter I, at least i made the frame for it you know so if you do download this to play it you guys have the frame and everything um but yeah this the apartment's quite quaint i like it i like it a lot i love the colors i love i love that you know what uh, it is it's gray and white with blue but then there's still little accent pieces of orange and yellow actually there's no yellow there's green there's pops of um yeah, there actually is popular yellow. So yeah, I don't know. I like this build. Hope y'all enjoy it too. But anyway, so getting on to today's topic. Today's topic is very near and dear to my heart. I just need someone to rant to about this because I was reading through the comments and in the last, if last thing, the last two builds, I talked to you about how the 
2000s, the early 2000s were the best time. They had the best TV shows, the best music. Um, actually, the 90s had the best music, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, were the best times. And so when I look back now, I and um, people were talking about a lot, surprisingly, was One Tree Hill. Mm -hmm. So the spoiler alert, if you haven't watched One Tree Hill and you're planning to because of quarantine and you have nothing else to do, don't watch this video because I'm going to rant about it. And most likely there's going to be spoiler alerts. So again, if you guys want to know anything, don't watch it. You've been warned. If you're still here, then that means that <laughs> you're ready for the spoilers. So anyways, so yeah, so go ahead and talk about it because there's some things about that show that ticked me the frig off. Um, excuse my language. Um, that, I know... The, uh, that, that word is not a swear word, but to me it's still a cuss word. But anyways, there was some stuff about that TV show that pissed me off that I don't know how, like, in real life, I, I like, I need some opinions. Like, I'm going to explain to you what happened in the show and let me know down below, like, wh what would you do? Because I would not, like, mm -mm, people, like, I love a good TV show, but you got to make it realistic, you know? You got to you gotta make it realistic. And then they always, like, and the thing is, though, I, I have... I have so much hate for this one character, but anyways, let's get straight into it. So if you don't know what One Tree Hill is, it pretty much follows the life of a character named Lucas. Is it Lucas? I think it's Lucas. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, he's a single mom. Yeah, so he's not a single mom, but his mom is a single mom. And actually, again, spoilers, so if you, if you want to listen to it, don't get it. So anyway, so his mom um, actually, I think dated the mayor I, I don't know what his name is i think it's i don't remember what the guy's name is but anyways dated the mayor and then i'm I, I could be wrong but i think the mayor is a son and then and then um <laughs> so what happens is okay I need, I need to pause this video because it's gonna be hard to explain so the mayor so lucas is a single mom single mom no lucas it, it lives with his mom a single mother um who i think his father is i can't remember his father is the mayor the mayor has a son named Nathaniel. Nathaniel and, and um, Lucas are enemies. <laughs> are enemies. They are both on the basketball team. It's actually very funny. And I'm saying this funny because it's um this is this is a bit this is a bit racial, but it's a basketball team and the main characters are like white. I don't know. I, I found that just think about that. That that's ironic. That's about anyways, moving on. But um <laughs> but moving on from that. So anyways, they hate each other and so they both play in this sport and so anyways, um, yeah, so it, pretty much the dynamics was about him living his life and we knew people. I have no clue if he just moved to the town or not. I, I, I think they just moved. No, they didn't move because he he has a best friend named Haley, um, who later is on, who later on in the show gets with Nathan, um, which I find I I think they were the best shit that ever came off that show. But anyways, um, so this is where this this is where the effery happens. This is where this is what this is where it starts to piss me off. So Lucas starts off by liking a girl named Peyton, right? All is good in the hood. Likes a girl named Peyton, but Peyton is dating, of course, you, you guessed it, you guessed it, Nathan. So <laughs> Peyton's dating Nathan, and Lucas likes Peyton, and Nathan, I don't know what he likes, honestly, at this point. I think he was just with Peyton, or they were just put together because they were the, you know, the quote-unquote popular kids in school, so they gotta stick together. That's how it is. Um, I feel so bad for people who's watching this build at the end of it because I'm not doing that much. I'm supposed to be, you know, I'm just gonna clutter because um, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing anything I should be doing. But anyways, so they, so they end up breaking up, of course, um, throughout season one. Actually, not, I don't even remember how it happens, but I need to watch it over again. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna watch it over again, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna rage quit again, um, because again, I have nothing else to do, um, when I'm done this. But moving on from that, so, um, from my memory, they, um, Nathan, or did he cheat? I don't think, I think they break up first before anything happens. So, Nathan and Haley break up. And then, of course, Lucas sweeps in. Um, I don't remember. What, did Brooke come first? I don't remember. Okay, but anyways, there's another, so there's Peyton, right? So Peyton's dating Nathan. Remember that. So now there's Brooke, who's my favorite character of all time. Um, second is Haley. But anyways, um, so Brooke is, Pey Brooke is Peyton's best friend, of course. And so Brooke caught her eyes on Lucas. And so Brooke tells Peyton, I'm pretty sure that she's into Lucas and Peyton's all, Peyton's with Nathan, and but she, again, she likes Lucas. So of course she feels type of way. The one, the funny thing is throughout the years, you know what scene actually carried with me from that TV sh from the show? You know that episode where Peyton, where they're talking about how Peyton's mom died. I think she ran one red light trying to go to like her recital or something. And then she got um, hit by another car. And so she like sped down the street when all the lights were like, red and she didn't get hit i don't know whenever i'm driving and i see like a street full of red cars uh like or when I, not red cars whenever i'm driving at night and after like all the like the streets down the all the streets 
uh, all the signs are like red. I always think of that moment. I have no clue why. <laughs> Except like it, it didn't really mean anything to me. But I don't know. I just thought that was funny. But moving on now. Now with the story. So, anyways, so later on, I know what happened first. I have no clue if um, Peyton gets with Lucas first or Peyton goes with Brooks first. But all I know is that Peyton and no, that Brooke and Lucas start dating. Right? It was it was strictly lust. <laughs> that from that's what I got from it. It was it was it was a lust relationship. Nothing more. That like when season one when it happened, it was strictly lust. She got with him because he was the hot new kid, and he got with her because I don't know. She was a cheerleader and she showed him type of affection. I don't know why she got well. He got with Peyton. I mean with Brooke. But anyways, I actually you know I I didn't ship it in the beginning with Brooke and Lucas, but then later on she started you know, she started uh, what's it called again? She started becoming like a normal human being. She he he tamed her a little bit. She became bearable. I actually hated Brooke when this first all started. I thought Brooke was annoying and a user and your typical, your typical person. Your typical what 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 do you think of a popular cheerleader in school? It's Brooke, literally. But anyways, like I said, like when the when the relationship started to develop, I saw a new side to her and I really started liking Brooke. But then, um, I think that's when Peyton got into the picture. So Peyton started flirting with Lucas and I think Brooke found out and then they got into this big fight over Lucas, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Uh, they got into this big fight, and then Peyton ended up kissing Lucas. If I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm up there. Peyton, Lucas ended up cheating on Brooke with Peyton, who is Brooke's best friend, which pissed me off. And so, anyways, I was so mad after that. And then they, and after Lucas and Lucas and Brooke ended up breaking up from that. And you would think that you know what Peyton and Lucas were dating, but they didn't. You know, I think Peyton chose to be friends with Brooke, and so we realized she couldn't do that. So they didn't end up doing anything. So that was pretty much I think the end of season one. Season two comes along. I think like they meet up on type of beach. I can't remember. They meet up on type of beach, and Brooke gives Lucas another chance. And so they start dating again. Was that season four? I don't remember. But anyways, uh, moving on. So Brooke and Lucas started dating again. And it was really good. They had a healthy relationship. Peyton, you know what, said they weren't going to do anything. They're just going to be friends. Everything was great. And um, then, of course, because of every freaking teenage drama show out there, they, they, they started adding a little tension here and there. Then Peyton started warming her way back into the picture. And I'm like, yo, this girl is gonna let me rage quit. Like, that's your best friend's boyfriend. Calm yourself. Don't ruin my ship again. Peyton, do not ruin my ship again, or else I am going to cut somebody. So anyways, um, my video's gonna get copyrighted for violence, but moving on. So anyways, what happened was, I don't remember what it was, but there was an episode where a school shooting happens, right? A school shoot happens, and then Lucas and Peyton are stuck in the school together, and I think they kiss, and then, like, they don't tell Brooke about it, which is so freaking shady of, of, like, how are you gonna, first of all, you're gonna kiss your friends, hold on, let me, okay, I gotta stop, I gotta stop recording, because I'm not, at this point, I'm not recording more, I'm, I'm raging right now, so anyways, at this point, like, how, like, you're gonna, you're, you tell me, you're gonna kiss your best friend's boyfriend, then not tell her about it y'all are gonna like 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 y'all are literally cheating with like how like i was so pissed i was so i'm so glad i'm so glad when brooke found out she decided to beat peyton's ass i was so happy and bruh ever since then i couldn't watch the show like ever since then my my that, that show just pissed me off like twice like they did it twice to me like like once one time shame on you Second time, shame on me. Three times, oh hell no. So no, after <laughs> two, that's it. I was done. I think after that, Peyton and Lucas like runs away, and I was like, I can't, I can't. Like the show lost me. After that, I was so mad, and I I totally understood what happened. And this is why I actually don't like th like the the Chad guy, whatever his name is, who's actually a real life um actor. Why I don't like him because they actually got married. Fun fact. Brooke, her character, and um, Lucas, they actually got married in real life. And I think what I heard is a real reason why Lucas, um, the Lucas and Brooke thing happened, they, they broke up again, was because in real life, she ended up cheating on her with somebody else, and he actually ended up marrying the girl she cheated on him with. Like, and ever since then, his image has been tainted. He, he was actually in a show with Hilary Duff called, like, The Cinderella Story. I hate that movie. Like, it used to come on all the time on YTV. I'm like, oh, this 
much. Like, I literally, when it, when it came, I'm like, oh, this guy. Oh, oh, God. No, turn the chain. Mm -mm. I hate that movie. I hate his character. Whenever he's, like, in these movies, I'm like, oh, this guy again. Nope, change the channel. I, I, you see, I, I, I honestly, I hold a grudge, but he will forever be my, <laughs> my most hated actor I've ever known. But anyways, that's my, that's my crumb. I, I had to rant about that because again, you guys, because the people was like, well, oh my god, I love Montreal. Listen, I didn't get past the episode where Peyton and Brooke fought. I couldn't. After after God, I got my closure and I was and I was done. And the thing is, she forgave her again. How do you forgive her? Like, no, that's fake. You can't like. Okay, so let me ask you guys, if your friend did you dirty like that, could you forgive them again? I couldn't. Like, I, I cut my I cut my roommate off because he did he did me dirty. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember that story. If you guys want to hear me, let me know. But my roommate did me dirty, and I cut him off. Till this day, I don't talk to him. Like, we're done. Mm -mm. Once once you do me dirty, we're done. There, there's no saying sorry. There's no being friends. I don't give second chances because you know what you were doing, and you did it, and it's done. It's over, you know? I'm sorry, I cut you off. You once you once you turn negative, we're done. But anyways, I had to rant about that because I just remembered it and I was like, I want to watch the show, but that show that part just pisses me off. So I thought I'd go ahead and get you guys' opinion. But that's pretty much it, and that's pretty much it for this rant. Hope y'all enjoyed. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your comments and your opinions down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, just peace. Bye. Later. Love y'all. Bye guys.